Ladies and gentlemen, I think I have found the greatest violinist alive. I think we have found the goat of the 21st century. And I don't think we've had a legendary violinist like this in a darn long time. And his name is Roman Kim. Now, whether he's Italian, a Roman, or an Asian, Kim, I, I don't know. But what I do know is that Paganini was Italian, and we all know that Asians are uh, the OGs. And I think that he is a genetically modified species of Paganini's bloodline. So what we're about to hear is his complete original masterpiece arrangements uh, of, of repertoire that you all know. You don't have to be a musician to know the, the pieces that we're gonna listen to today. Wow. <gasps> no way! Do you hear that bass line? He's able to keep that melody on top of that bass line and play them at the same time. I, I promise you, I'm not drunk. I see one violinist, I hear two violins. Am I the only one? Beautiful thirds. Beautiful. Oh, left hand bits. Oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> no way! The pizzicatos are crazy! Did you hear that? <gasps> What's happening? How is he playing this? No way. This, this, this might look very simple to some of you, but what he's doing here is so painful. Paganini was immune to pain. He was genetically modified to not feel pain when he's playing this. He's able to pitch that quickly and still keep the melody intact. And, and what he's doing here, his hand is so contorted, so acrobatic. It's basically like a choreography. Wait, I don't understand. My hand has to play this. And yet, by some miracle, I have to also be able to play <laughs> I can't believe how hard that must be in real speed. No jokes, I hear a full string quartet played by one man. Literally every string is one instrument. The G string is the cello, the D string is the uh, viola, and the two A, A and E strings are the two violins. <laughs> wow, that bass line is so clear. Oh, he makes it look so easy, but I promise you, 99% of people can't play this. Ooh, wow, those octave fingerings. Oh, did you, he's using his thumb as a fifth finger. <laughs> what, what's really impressive, apart from all those contorted hand gestures, is just the way he brilliantly brings out the voice in each part. The solo line, the bass line, the accompaniment, they're all so beautifully brought out. Do you know what a fugue is? A fugue um, is... Essentially, uh, a piece that has multiple voices interacting together. So, for example... Can you hear the two voices? You can hear that there's two characters. He's playing a whole village of notes. <laughs> it sounds like his bridge is completely flat <laughs> and he's able to play all these four strings at the same time. You know how much bow control this requires? Okay, let me attempt this in Santi. <laughs> I 
how how do you voice all of these notes so separately and so cleanly? I don't know. You know Geometry Dash, you know the different levels, you know it starts off with a nice blue smiley face guy, then the green face guy, uh, and then a yellow, red, uh, then it's like a purple, crazy insane uh, dude emoji, and then there's a demon. Well, if Geometry Dash uploaded this as a level, uh, it would crash. That's how insanely difficult this is. <laughs> He's so good that even Mozart writes, I don't remember writing this piece for one violin. <laughs> He's so good that if if there's no orchestra available he's like no problem yeah i'll just i'll just play everything uh, by myself you, wait you don't you don't need a cello you don't need a viola no 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 it's fine uh, i have the g string and the d string for that <laughs> this comment says uh, orchestra did not show up roman kim it's fine i'll just be an orchestra and solo <laughs> it should be easy <laughs> oh wow some of you noticed that he did a thumb pits what Okay, there was another arrangement he wrote, uh, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Uh, let's let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. Before we continue to this absolutely crazy next performance, uh, go ahead and subscribe and press the notification bell so you don't miss a future video. Unison. Wow, so dense. Oh, tense. That, no, that was not a 10th. That was like a 12th interval. Harmonics? Within chords? That is insanely difficult. Oh, the voicing again, so beautiful. Keeping the melody on top. Oh. Do you hear what I hear? Like, just right there, he, he's defying the laws of sound and physics. What I hear is da 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 and my other ear hears da. So in a way, he's doing staccato on one string and playing a nice legato bow on the other string. Can you explain to me how physically that's possible? So he's playing a nice legato note, and then he's playing staccatos. No, what, what you hear from me is like an imbecile. Listen. You hear? Wow. His thumb is so active in the conversation <laughs> with all these notes. He really uses all of his resources. Beautiful. <laughs> I'll be 100% honest. If this was not recorded and you showed me an audio of this, I wouldn't believe you that this has been performed by just one violin. For those of you who don't understand how crazy this is, he's basically mixing harmonics with normal notes. So basically, what he's doing, he's doing a double stop harmonic with a normal note. So he's pressing down hard on a note, and at the same time, he's playing a harmonic. Just playing all of these notes so quickly is near impossible. Absolute insanity. Oh, those octaves must be painful. Look at his thumb. Look at his thumb. It's like an octopus. <laughs> Tentacles. It's not fingers, it's tentacles. They're so flexible. Before he was a string quartet, now he's an entire symphony orchestra. <laughs> so now the G string is the brass section, the D string is the woodwinds, and the A string is the, the strings. I can't believe how he does this. A true soloist doesn't need an orchestra. He is the orchestra. <laughs> But it's just crazy how he can mimic these different voices. Like you can, you can genuinely hear the different instruments that he's trying to create. I wonder how long it took him to arrange this. Probably even pianists are trembling at the amount of notes Roman is playing. <laughs> now we're gonna see him play uh, his relative's piece, uh, Paganini, God Save the King. Okay, let's uh, let's listen to his 
performance. His finger looks like a darn spaghetti noodle. It looks so long. Is he from Chernobyl? Fingers are, are like steel. As I mentioned before, he's genetically modified. Uh, he doesn't have uh, fingernails. Uh, he has uh, metal implantations um, uh, that are razor sharp. And it doesn't hurt him. So, so that's why you can hear those pizzicatos so prominently. Oh, wow, that shift is like the speed of light. Wow. Oh, it's a machine gun. What do you expect? <laughs> Dude, he is the goat. I give up. I thrown him the goat. A violin. It's official. Did, did you see how he was eating his, his string? When you wake up at night and there's nothing in the fridge, he just eats his violin. I mean, I have a relationship with my violin, but nothing as close. <laughs> the first comment here says, God save the violinist. <laughs> yeah, after playing this, any violinist would need a hospital. <laughs> I love this comment. If Roman traveled back in time and performed for Paganini, Paganini would think he was the devil. <laughs> Roman Kim has revolutionized techniques on the violin that have never been seen before. This is absolute witchcraft. If he was born in the 1600s, they would probably have assumed he was a witch and would have drowned him in a lake. That would have been the tragic ending of Roman Kim in the 16th century. So ladies and gentlemen, I think we have found the champion, the goat of all time.